Hello everyone, welcome to solve this nice math along bed algebra problem. So here we have 5 to the power of c equals to c to the power of 625 and we solve this problem for the values of c. So here first we need to move the variable terms in the left hand side uh, or variable terms in the right hand side and we move the constant terms in the left hand side. So for this first we need to move this uh, exponent c to the right hand side. So in order to eliminate this c from left hand side we need to take the c root on both of the sides and in other words we need to take uh, 1 over c power on both of the sides in this way. So after taking uh, both of the sides powered by 1 over c uh, here we need some simplifications and now we can apply this exponent life you have a to the power of m to the power of n it is equals to a to the power of m multiplied by n. So according to this exponent law these two exponents are multiplied by each other as well as these two exponents are also multiplied by each other and it will be written as 5 to the power of c multiplied by 1 over c equals to c to the power of 625 multiplied by 1 over c. So here you see that this c and this c are cancelled out by each other and we will obtain here 5 is equals to this is c to the power of 625 divided by c. So our c is moved to the right hand side and now we have the time to move this 625 in the left hand side. So in order to move the 625 in the left hand side we again take 1 over 625th power on both of the sides okay in this way. So when you take this power on both of the sides we will write here uh, 625 over c and its whole exponent is 1 over 625. And now in the next step first we need to simplify the right hand side and we have this is 6 5 to the power of 1 over 625 equals to here we again multiply these two exponents it will be written as c to the power of 625 divided by c multiplied by 1 over 625 so this term is cancelled out by this term and we obtain here 5 to the power of 1 over 625 equals to c to the power of 1 over c so now you focus in the right hand side and you see here uh, we have uh, this is the base of this term is c so we make the base and its exponent be the reciprocal of the c so if our base is c then we make its exponent is 1 over c similarly here uh, if our base is 5 then we make the exponent is 1 over 5 and if our exponent is 1 over 625 we make its base is 625 so for this uh, here we need to multiply and divide the exponent of left hand side by 5 so we write it as 5 to the power of 5 divided by 5 multiplied by 1 over 625 here we multiply and divide by 5 and it is equals to c to the power of 1 over c so uh, for further simplifications we move this 5 inside the term and it will be written as 5 to the power of 5 and its exponent is 1 over 5 multiplied by 625 and this is equals to c to the power of 1 over c and now here in the next step we need to simplify uh, the terms in the left hand side mm, so that uh, here we have uh, this is our uh, 5 this is our uh, 5 multiplied by 625 and 5 to the power of 5 so first we multiply 6 with 625 so when we multiply 5 by 625 we will get here this is 5 times of 5 becomes 25 we write 5 and carry 2 5 to the 10 10 plus 2 is 12 we write 2 and carry 1 5 6 are 30 30 plus 1 becomes 35 it means that 5 multiplied by 625 equals to 3125 similarly uh, now we find the value of 5 to the power of 5 so 5 to the power of 5 means that we multiply 5 by 5 times okay in this way and now you see here 5 5 is 25 
25 fives are 125 125 fives are 625 625 multiplied by 5 equals to 3125 it means that 5 to the power of 5 is also equals to 3125 so now we replace um, the base 5 to the power of 5 equals to 3125 and its exponent is also equals to 3125. So that our above equation is written as 3125 to the power of 1 over 3125 is equals to uh, c to the power of 1 over c. And now here you see that mm, the bases on both of the sides are uh, the base and its exponent are the reciprocal of that base. Okay, so if you compare uh, the bases on both of the sides, then you get here c equals to 3125. And if you compare the exponents, then you also get 1 over c equals to 3125. So from both of these cases, you get the value of c equals to 3125. So this is the final value of c in this problem. Uh, and now here in the next step, we need to verify this value of c. Uh, so for verification of this value of c, we need to copy down the given question statement here. So the given question statement is 5 to the power of c equals to c to the power of uh, 625 so now we substitute our c equals to 3125 on both of the sides of the given equation so it will be written as 5 to the power of 3125 equals to here again our, our c is 3125 to the power of 625 so further in the next step we uh, need more simplifications here uh, and now uh, in order to make the uh, both of the sides are same uh, here we first break the exponent in the left hand side and we have this is 3125 we write it as 5 multiplied by 625 and it is equals to 3125 to the power of 625. So here we apply the exponent law and we move this 5 inside the term and it will be written as 5 to the power of 5 and its exponent is 625 equals to 3125 to the power of 6, uh, 625. So in the start of the problem you see here, uh, here we get the value of 5 to the power of 5 equals to 3125. So now uh, we need to replace this value of 5 to the power of 5 here. So it will be written as 3125 to the power of 625 equals to 3125 to the power of 625. So we see here both of the sides are same. It means that the value of C satisfies the given question statement. This is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.